right, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today for this mindfulness session. It's an honor to be able to host these sessions for you all. And thank you for joining me. My name is Jean and this week we will be talking about the mindful quality of awareness. So awareness arises when we are alert and awake to whatever is in the moment to moment flow of our immediate experience. When we are present, we are aware. Uh, so as I said before, this week, we are going to be talking about the mindful quality of awareness. Um, previously, I had already, we had already talked about these in my previous sessions, but I thought it was important to review this since awareness is a very important quality in mindfulness. Since mindfulness is all about being in the present and being aware of some of the things around you. So specifically, we're going to talk about this week, um, listening to Nature Symphony and how that can help us be more aware. So allowing sounds in nature to bring us instantly to the present. And we're going to be practicing this for our weekly mindful practice. We're going to be listening to some of natural sounds and practicing being in the present. So uh, for these discussion questions, what are some examples of sounds in nature? And are these sounds only available to rural and suburban residents? I would like us to think about some of uh, our thoughts or our responses to these questions. And then for the last five minutes of our session, we'll have a short discussion um, about these questions. So before we begin our mindful practice, um, we're gonna talk about some methods that we can use to help us uh, use nature symphony and allow the natural sounds to bring us to the present. So if anyone would like to uh, read, we're gonna start with the part in the middle where it says ground yourself. If anyone would like to read for us, please feel free to unmute and uh, read the caption there. Um. I'll be willing to read it, but on my iPad, I don't think I see everything at one time. So what I'm seeing right now is ground yourself. Is mm -hmm. that the first thing? Mm -hmm. Ground yourself. Bring your awareness to the present. Anything in your direct experience. All right. I... Uh, yeah. You can continue if you would like. Thank you. Okay. Um, Become aware of sounds around you. What are the qualities of the sounds? Is there a tune? When, when your mind wanders, gently bring it back to nature's orchestra. Listen with your whole body. See what body sensations you might be experiencing in response to whatever you're hearing. That's all that's showing up on my screen. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for reading. That was very really nice. So uh, keeping in mind the methods that Miss Elaine just read for us, 
Uh, we're going to begin our mindful practice shortly. But before we begin our mindful practice, I would like us to take uh, three deep breaths to prepare us for our mindful practice. So breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. All right, enjoy. Oh, sorry, it's taking a while to load, but. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, now that we are finished with our mindful practice, we're going to move on to the discussion part um, of our session. So if anyone would like to share their thoughts, uh, did you stay in the present? And if so, were there any specific sounds that you think helped you to stay in the present? Are there only two people um, present in the group? Mm -hmm. Only two people. The other person doesn't seem to want to talk. So do you, do you want to talk? <laughs> huh? You... Yeah, the, I like the bird sounds and the water sounds. Yes, I, I like that. There, I talked. No, I'm, I just didn't want to take up all the space if you wanted to talk. No, I didn't want... no, go, no, go right ahead and talk. That's fine. Um, I stayed in the present, I think, till almost the end, and then I don't know what happened. My mind wandered. But I have a question. Um, what does it mean to listen with the whole body? I don't understand that. Unless, if I go to a concert or something, I think I maybe listen with my body, but to something like this, I don't, I didn't feel anything in my body. What, what, how do you do that? Uh, so that's a good question. Um, typically what we mean by listening to our whole body is just being aware if there is any sensations that you might feel, but that may not uh, pertain to everyone. It's if, something particular, uh, some, some, for everyone, different sounds, we have different reactions. So it's okay if you didn't feel anything. Um, that was just one of the many methods that we can use to help us listen to natural sounds and allow us to be in the present. But is, is that, there something you should do to try to um, help you listen with your body? Um, I think just being, trying to be aware of if they're, if like trying to be really aware of what, um, what body sensations you might be having and really just using the, the natural sounds to help us be more because when you're in the present you're more aware of what's happening to you and maybe what kind of sensations you might have so there isn't a definite way i would say okay thank you all right so uh thank you everyone for sharing um, now we're going to talk about uh, if anyone has any thoughts or any ideas, what are some examples of sounds that we hear in nature? And this is also to guide us. This exercise is intended to guide us in identifying maybe typical sounds that we hear in nature. So if anyone would like to uh, share anything it and then the sounds could also be from the exercise that we did earlier well the sounds of birds I think is is very typical for nature mm -hmm. um, 
and the, the sound of rain falling, for example, would be another sound. The sound of the wind in the trees. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't been out in nature in a long time, except for my neighborhood. <laughs> what about the sound of the waves in the ocean? I love that sound. Definitely. A good, good example. Um, what else? How about sometimes, uh, especially, it's nearing toward the end of fall right now, but uh, when all the leaves fall down to the ground and sometimes when we walk outside and when we walk on the leaves, there's this kind of crunching noise or the sound of the leaves. That could be another one. But I think you covered a lot of the good ones, a lot of the ones that we typically experience in uh, our lives, uh, but it's kind of difficult to really go outside in nature right now. So, but we can bring nature to our homes with these types of mindful exercises and kind of trying to use those natural sounds and practice mindfulness. All right, so now we're going to talk about, we're going to discuss one of our last questions, uh, the discussion questions that I had prepared. So thinking back to, uh, do we think that listening to Nature Symphony, is this option only available for those who live close to nature? So like in rural or suburban areas is this option available to people in the city, maybe? Well, we have some wonderful parks in Brookline and, you know, with a lot of trees and birds and um, we have a lot of turkeys and geese. <laughs> the, you know, the Canadian geese at the Chestnut Hill Reservoir can make a lot of noise. Um, there's a nice park, Fisher Hill Park, up on Fisher Avenue. It's, you really feel like you're out in nature there, even though you're right in Brookline. And um, they have a lot of birds there. Um, so I, I feel we're fortunate, even though we live in the city, that we have so many parks around us all the time. A lot of choices of which parks to go to. Yeah, so definitely. Um, I think in this, even in the city, we can find, uh, most times we can find a lot of natural things. And really what matters most is that the natural sounds or the melodies are drawing you out of your normally storytelling mind. So a lot of times our mind can be wandering um, and it draws you out of that wandering mind and it connects you with your environment on a deeper level. So uh, even though we may not be close to natural places like the mountains or the rivers, um, paying attention to the natural sound, such as the birds in the city, can also help us um, to bring us instantly to the present. Would you say that the sound of children playing in the playground is a natural sound? Yes, uh, I would <laughs> say. I think that may count as a natural sound. Um, natural sounds don't necessarily have to be just from nature, I think, because uh, children playing, I think it, 
the I think the thing is about the innocence and their joyfulness. It makes it makes us feel like it's natural. I think uh, okay. that's what I would relate to. But but we're all part of nature. People are part of nature too. Yeah, definitely. People are all part of nature. Um, so technically, it every everyone's definition of nature could be different. Um, so it doesn't even have to be just children. It could be just watching people passing by. All right, so uh, now we're going to kind of near the closing of our mindful moment session. Uh, we're going to end with a quote that relates to this week's mindful quality. So the present is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. And I would like us to think about how this relates to this week's mindful quality, which is awareness. All right, so uh, that was all I had prepared for today. Thank you, thank you all. Uh, thank you both, Miss Reed and Miss Elaine, for joining me today. Uh, I hope you all, I hope you had a good time. And um, if you guys have any more questions or if you would like to give me any feedback, I would really appreciate it. But otherwise, uh, feel free to leave any time you want. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Do you work for, for the commu center communities? Uh, uh, hold on a second. Sorry, let me pause the 